it's a niche of the market that really has not been addressed. All of the material for washing crusher finds has basically been the same equipment that you use to wash sand, even though the physical situations of the two plants are very, very different. We're taking a dry feed, we're adding water, and we have a, uh, an agitator at the front end of the machine that uh, mixes the water and the uh, material together so that we get a good thick slurry to come off. Then it dumps onto a dewatering screen with a series of spray bars to help wash out the fines. We don't have to worry about transporting the material, so we can attach this right next to the, to the dry crushing plant. We're running around uh, two-thirds of the water that you would use for a regular sand scrub. We used to pick up the material with a wheel loader, run it down to our wash plant, run it on through. So we have to rehandle it again, an extra person, another generator, wash plant, just added expense. Um, we're also using, down at the wash plant, about 900 gallons a minute of water. Currently with the machine, we're kind of running around anywhere from 200 to 250 gallons a minute, producing a far cleaner product with a lot less water. This is a problem that had not been addressed by anybody. You run across it in my position uh, from year to year. Uh, people want to uh, stop hauling the material. They, wanna, they can't change their crushing circuit, um, and this was a solution for it. So, and I think it's a relatively elegant solution for it. Mm -hmm.